Greetings, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Great American Survival. I'm Marvin Four, and in today's video, we are going to be sharing with you a new EDC update from Gerber. Today, we're going to be sharing with you the Armbar Slim Cut Edition. Now, if you're looking to change or upgrade your EDC and are looking for something a little different, this just might be the one for you. So stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. Well, before I get started, my, our dog Parker wanted to say happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you guys had a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Today was a very interesting day. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves, but as you see from our dog, he was happy. All right, so as I said, today we are talking Gerber Armbar Slim Cut Edition. Now, the reason why I say cut is because it comes in two different versions, the, the cut and the drive. My whole thing moved. All right. This is the cut, which means it's got a really nice blade and it's got a really nice pair of scissors. It's a three-in-one tool, meaning it has three different functional um, tools, but have more than three um, uses. going to set you back about $35. In the worst case scenario, I found it all the way down into the 20s. So... There's that. Very nice. This version is available in a black, orange, or in this case, Baltic Haze Green. Very nice. I like it. Um, very small. Very nice. 98 millimeters in length, which is 3.8 inches in length, and weighs just under 62 grams. Very nice. I like it. Uh, closed, like I said, it's 3.8 inches, so that's a very nice blade. The whole tool fits in the palm of my hand. When I make a fist, it disappears. I like it. Uh, overall length with the blade deployed is 6.7 inches and has a limited lifetime warranty. I like this. I like this a lot. It's been very nice, and what I've come to appreciate most is the blade. We'll start with that. The blade thickness. Very nice, very robust, um, no wobble, no wiggle, no anything. I mean, it just locks up very firm, does have a liner lock blade, very nice. And it's got what they call a modified sheep's foot blade. The blade itself is two and a half inches long. And as you see, it's just nice. I've used mine to cut straps and uh, boxes and stuff like that at work. I honestly thought I lost it, so I ordered the drive as a replacement. And then my wife found it, and it was next to, it was in her car between the seats. So very happy that it's still here. And I will say this, it is um, very sharp. It's got a stainless steel blade, and it is 5CR15MOV steel. Holds an edge very well. I've only sharpened this one time, and it's still a very, very nice edge. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Like I said, only thing that I came across that I had a negative on is the fact that the blade, the hole, goes all the way through. Um, just because, yes, you could use it. I don't know what else you'd use it for other than just making it really easy to open, your, open it up. But I thought it was a bit over the top because... Um, it's one of those things where if you're using it, like when I'm camping, my knives are always processing food. Um, I always use them to cut fruit or cut meat or cut things open. So places like this have a tendency to create um, bacterial notches where I can't get in there and clean them on the trip. So if I cut something, whether I cut a pack of ham or cut something open, there's always a chance that I'm going to get something in there and I can't get in there unless I use like a toothbrush to clean it. And honestly, my toothbrush when I'm on a backpacking trip is not for that. So that's not what it's intended for. It's to keep my little, my, my pearly whites clean. So next on the end, we have a pry bar slash lid lifter, also bottle opener is what they call it. Now I've never used it as a pry bar, but it is nice. As you see, good thickness, not thin. Uh, works great as a bottle opener. 
and it works as a lid lifter. I work in a body shop, so I open a lot of things, and it's worked very well for taking the lids off of cans, things like that, and it's done very well. And it does have this nice little choil across the back, which makes it very easy for you to pop it open, to get it out. Now, I would have liked to have seen them cap the end of the blade like the old arm bar had, where you could almost use it as a hammer, and I think they actually intended for you to. And that worked really, really well. Uh, it has a key ring, so you can attach it to your keys if you'd like. Very nice. And last but not least, the scissors. Now, the scissors are not the best scissors on the market, no. But they're also not the worst by, by a long shot. I mean, they work very well for what they need, what you need. Most of the time when I'm using scissors on the trail or every day, it's cutting threads or a tag or something off of fabric, things like that. It works really, really well for that. And I'm not really sure does have a notch here, but I don't know if it has a purpose other than, well, I was thinking maybe it's for when you pull it out, but I guess it's just for a cutout, but huh, see what I mean? The whole thing cuts out. I mean, it looks cool, but I know it makes it where you can open it that way, but you can also grab it up here and the little tab is there. Not sure. I'm assuming that's what they intended you to just use it for. So, is just to open it. So, it's nice. I think this is... Man, my whole thing is moving today. I don't know what's going on. Very nice knife. I like it. I like the blade. The blade has hands down become a go-to blade. Now, I always carry a pocket knife. And, and lately, it's been a Cobra Tech um, Sidewinder. Very nice knife. But I don't use this for everything. Uh, today we were processing a graphic and cutting a graphic on the windshield, putting it on a windshield of my son's Nissan Altima. Uh, we were putting a sunshield across. And it worked great for that. It was really sharp. So when we were trimming it around the glass, trying not to catch the weather strip, this blade was perfect for this. Uh, like I said, very sharp, very nice blade. Liner lock works very well. And like I said, for $35, Unless you were looking at going down the road of something like this, you know, a Swiss Army knife, this is a good choice. This knife functions very well. I like it. It feels good in your hands. It's not slippy when you have it in your hands. When you're cutting things, it feels good. For something that doesn't have any type of, you know, indentations or anything, any weird shapes in the blade or in the handles to hold, it works really, really well. The, the scales... Very smooth, aluminum scales on that side, stainless steel on this side, very nice. And like I said, it's got a, what they call Baltic haze green finish. Very nice. So if you're looking for a new knife or something to change out your everyday carry, this is a great choice. The Gerber armbar, like I said, was a great option. I used mine, I don't even know if I ever tested or reviewed that one. But this is the Slim. It's a much smaller version. But the one thing I like is as small as this is, the blade is not. The blade is very thick, very robust, and very, very, very sturdy. Everything you would expect from a multi-tool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it the old thumbs up. We do a video every week at least, if not more. And we are so glad to have each and every one of you as part of our community. If you're new to our community and you haven't hung around... Hit that subscribe button. Be part of our community. And guys, thanks again for stopping by. If you have any questions, shoot them down below in the comments. And we will get back to you as soon as we can. And if you own one and you've had anything negative, other than the fact that you probably had some negative aspects of dealing with Gerber's customer service, tell me all about it. I'd love to hear anything you have going on. If you have a story that you've shared, um, anything positive you have, because I like the way it's set up. I like the way it looks. I think it's a very well-designed knife, and I think they they did well for what it is. For keeping it minimal, keeping it small, keeping it lightweight, it's perfect. It works great. It fits good in your pocket, and when you reach down in your pocket, you feel that it's there. When you feel it, you know, it's a lot like, like a Swiss Army knife when they're in your pocket. You can feel it because it's very odd-shaped. You can't mix it up with your keys or anything like that. 
just feels very nice. So hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys comment down below. Thanks again for stopping by. And guys, take time this week to get outside. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. And stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon. If you can't wait till next week to see one of our another video, go back, check out some of our playlists. They'll be down in the descriptions. And if you want to reach out to us, go over and check us out. We're on Facebook and on Instagram. Or if you want to shoot us an email, shoot it down to greatamericansurvival at gmail.com. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great week.